In this problem, we will look at a couple different curves. What we want to determine is whether these curves are actually probability distribution functions or not. If the curves are probability distribution functions, then we want to answer some probability calculations based on the probability distribution. So what determines whether a function is a probability distribution function or not? Several conditions must be met in order for a function to be a probability distribution function. Those are the function must be non-negative and the area under the function must be equal to 1. So let's check these two conditions to see whether we have a probability distribution function. Is our function non-negative? Yes, here it is 0. It becomes positive in this region and then it goes back to being 0. So we do have a non-negative function. Is the area under the curve between the curve and the x-axis equal to 1? To answer that question, we're going to divide our function into geometrically convenient regions to calculate areas. Let's call this region 1, this region 2, and this region 3. If we find the areas of region 1, 2, and 3, add up the three areas, we will have the area under the curve. So let's look at region number 1. Region 1 is a triangle. The area for a triangle is 1 half base times height. The base is length 1. The height is 1 third. So we see that the area of region 1 is 1 sixth. Region 2 is a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is base times height. The length of the base is 2. The height is 1 third. And we have that the area of region 2 is equal to 2 thirds. The area of region 3, region 3 is also a triangle, so the area is 1 half base times height. The length of the base is 1, the height is 1 third, and we have that the area of region 3 is also 1 sixth. The area under the curve is equal to the area of region 1 plus the area of region 2 plus the area of region 3, and in fact, it does equal 1. So we do have a probability distribution function. So now that we have a probability distribution function, let's answer some probability questions based on that distribution. Our first probability question is, what is the probability that our random variable is less than 2? To find probabilities for continuous distributions, we find the area under the curve in the region of interest. Our region of interest is x being less than 2. So the probability that x is less than 2 is this shaded region right here. Once we have this area, we will know the probability that x is less than 2. We know the area of the triangle from what we did up here. The area of the triangle, which we called region 1 above, was equal to 1 sixth. The area of what I'm going to call region 2, I'll call this region 2. It's a rectangle, not the same rectangle as up here, but we want to find the area of that rectangle. The area of the rectangle is base times height. The length of the base is 1. The height is 1 third. So the area of region 2 is 1 third. So we see that the area under the curve between 0 and 2 is equal to 1 sixth plus 1 third, and that equals 1 half. And we have that the probability that x is less than 2 is equal to 1 half. Our second probability question is, what is the probability that x is less than or equal to 2? It does not, in a continuous distribution, it does not matter whether you include the endpoint or not. And the reason is, in a continuous distribution, the probability that x equals a particular value is always equal to 0 in a continuous distribution. So the probability that x equals 2 is 0. And the reason has to do with calculus, which is beyond the scope of this course. So 
when calculating probability questions for a continuous distribution, it does not matter, matter whether you include this endpoint or not. The two probabilities will be identical. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 2 equals the probability that x is less than 2, and we've already calculated that to be 1 half. Let's do two more probability calculations for the same probability distribution function. Here we want the probability that x is between 1 and 2. Again, it does not matter whether this is less than 2 or less than or equal to 2, so we can ignore the less than or equal to. The probability that x is between 1 and 2 is just the area under the curve in that region, so we need to calculate that area and we will have our probability. In the previous problem, we found the area of this rectangle. It's the base times the height. That probability just equals one-third. So the probability that our random variable is between one and two is equal to one-third. The last probability calculation for this probability distribution is the probability that x is less than two. So this region here, which we found in the first problem we did, or that x is greater than 4. What's the probability that x is greater than 4? That probability is 0. So we found this area to be 1 half. The area to the right of 4 is 0. So this probability is equal to 1 half plus 0, which equals 1 half. Let's look at another function and determine whether it is a probability distribution function. Here, our function is just a rectangular region. Is the function non-negative? The answer is yes. Here, it would be 0. It becomes positive in the region from 1 to 6, and then it becomes 0 again. So yes, it is non-negative. Is the area under the curve equal to 1? We have a rectangle, so the area is equal to the base times the height. The length of the base is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The height is 1 fifth, so this area does equal 1, and we do have a probability distribution. A probability distribution function that is a rectangular box in nature has a special name. It's called the uniform distribution, and it is uniform on the region 1 to 6. So now let's find the probability that in a uniform 1, 6 distribution, the random variable is between 1 and 2. Again, probability is the area under the curve in that particular region. We want to know the probability that our random variable is in that region. So we need to find the area of this rectangle. The area is equal to base times height. The length of the base is 1. The height is 1 fifth. So the area is 1 fifth, which makes the probability 1 fifth. In our last probability calculation, we want the probability that x is less than 2 or x is greater than 4. Let's find that region under the curve. x is less than 2 or x is greater than 4. We found this area to be 1 fifth. The area here is base times height. The length of the base is 2. The height is 1 fifth, and our area is 2 fifth. We have to add those two areas to get our probability. The probability that x is less than 2 or greater than 4 is equal to 1 fifth plus 2 fifths, which equals 3 fifths. So in summary, to determine whether a curve is a probability distribution function or not, you must answer two questions. Is the function non-negative and is the area under the curve equal to 1? If you have a probability distribution function, you can answer probability questions about that function. You just find the area under the curve in the particular region of interest. We can do probability distribution functions that have uh, that are geometrically easy to work with. When the function becomes more difficult to work with, 
you need to use calculus to find the area under the curve, and that is beyond the scope of this course.